Hi foodies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jereen. Today we're making some chili chicken my way. This is one of my favorite dishes because it has a nice balance of sweet, savory, and spicy. So let's get into it. So I started cutting up my chicken breast already. So all you're gonna be doing is cutting in thin strips. Now I must say, it is better and easier to cut the chicken into strips when it's partially frozen. So you get more slender, thin pieces because it's firmer to cut, right? So if you can put it in the freezer for a few minutes just to firm up or don't thaw it out completely, then cut it in strips like I'm doing, it's better. Even if it's chicken tenders, you can do the same thing. Just cut it in some thin pieces and as I said mine isn't firm but I can guarantee you when it's partially frozen it's easier to cut these very thin strips I thawed mine completely because I was going to do something else and then I decided to do the chili chicken so cut it in thin strips and then we're going to be doing something called velveting it's using baking soda and water to tenderize the chicken so it does not give the chicken any taste at all it just helps it to be nice and soft and tender you know sometimes when you go out and order you know Chinese food you're like why is this so so soft so tender this is one of many techniques that's used so you're just gonna soak the chicken in this and then you are going to rinse it thoroughly and pat dry so I'm gonna soak this for 15 to 30 minutes and then the longer you soak it of course the more tender it will be and then after that I will rinse off all of that and pat dry the chicken as much as I can and then season okay so I won't be using any salt in this just because soy sauce is very high in sodium if you have a low sodium soy sauce at home then you can maybe add a little salt okay so we're just gonna season up this chicken So let it marinate as long as you possibly can and then we're gonna go straight to the pan this is very very easy guys so I have sesame um, seed oil and vegetable oil in the pan and if you have a wok go ahead and use it okay so I'm using just a nonstick pan and you want to move those pieces of chicken around really quickly so that they can start to brown and so that they don't clump up together this is one of the reasons it's so important to cut the pieces as small and as thin and as similar as you can because then they will cook at the same time okay so you're gonna get some you know try to get some color on the pieces of chicken and then once most of it has browned then you add your mixture of ginger and garlic to the pan if you want to you can add this ginger and garlic to the marinade or you can add it at this point or both but don't leave out the ginger and the garlic very very essential especially when you're cooking you know Asian food really really essential flavors so we're gonna toss these together keep moving them around so that everything gets cooked evenly and then we can add some onion strips um, you could add some peppers too but I prefer to just keep it simple when I'm doing chili chicken so keep stirring things around and then you want to make sure that the chicken has no trace of pink by the time you're done this okay so move things around and allow the heat to hit all different sides of the chicken and the onions Now I'll be going in with some fresh chili paste. I really, really love this. I love this brand. I love the flavor of this. It is so nice, so, so good. So that's where we're gonna get our chili flavor and heat from. 
So add as much as you can tolerate. Um, I'll put the amount in the description, of course. And then there's some soy sauce I'm gonna add again for color, flavor, and for salt. And then we're gonna go in with some chili powder because this is chili chicken. You know it has a kick if you've ever had it before. So some chili powder and you can even add cayenne pepper if you want to. If you have whole chilies, you can add them as well. Sometimes when I go out and I order it, then you have the whole chilies in there. Sometimes it's just the ground chili paste. So either way you're good, all right? Now we want this to be a little more liquidy, so I'm gonna add my cornstarch and water just a little bit. And at this point, you decide how much sauce you want. So I'm going in with some Chinese wine there. And if you want a lot of sauce, then add more chili paste and a little more cornstarch and water if necessary. And then that element of sweet, I'm going in with some brown sugar. You could add honey as well if you prefer, okay? Just a little bit of sweet in there. Mix things around. I don't need a lot of sauce because it's just a little bit of chili chicken I'm making for my husband and I. But if you want more sauce, just go in with more chili paste, okay? Maybe even a splash of water. And then we can finish this up with green onions or scallions, whatever you want to call them. Crushed um, some chili flakes, some sesame seeds. Everybody has their own preference, but these are things I like to add to finish things off. Okay. So at this point, I'm just going to add my chili flakes and the chili chicken is cooked right now. So I just have it over low heat to keep it warm. Just add those chili flakes and give it another kick of heat and you're good. That's it. Delicious chili chicken my way. Okay. There are many ways of making this. This is my way. It's very simple, very delicious. You can have this with some noodles. Or you could have it with some rice, some steamed vegetables, like some bok choy. It is your choice of a side dish, but I like to have it with just plain rice. So give it a try and let me know what you think, guys. Till next time, take care. Don't forget to subscribe.